All right, so um, Spencer, why don't we start with you? You give us uh, one of your favorites from 2021. Let's, uh, let's baby. Um, China develops new protective <laughs> anal mask. <laughs> Sorry. This is <laughs> funny, <laughs> but I was like, what? When I saw this, this is one that I did not see. So so the kind of a little bit of background. I won't go too, totally into it. But I love the, <laughs> I love the picture. That, I don't know if you can see actual, that there. We'll, we'll put it up. They have an actual picture of what it <laughs> There's a mask. It's uh, like a mask uh, diaper. A, a medical <laughs> mask diaper, yeah. That's what it looks like. But basically, um, China had developed the um, China. anal swab test to uh, check for COVID, which they actually say is very, very accurate. accurate but I don't care how accurate it is. You're not <laughs> swabbing my yeah. butt. Yeah, that's um, not happening. And, and the, I'll tell you the little story. So my brother and I were joking back and forth when this actually came out, and they said that this was going on the next day uh, or very soon after the Babylon Bee posted this up, and it was like, bam. Uh, so we laughed. We had a good laugh over that. That's so. hilarious. Okay, uh, what about you, Josh? Okay, one of my favorite ones was um, VP Harris instructed to stop answering all her <laughs> phone calls with, did he die? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Did he die? Did it happen? Is it my time? Because like, can't you just see her with the big smile? How like happy she gets? And, like, then, and then they say, "No, he, uh, no, ma'am, he's not dead." <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I was just kidding. Uh, uh, the Somali, Joking. the Somali guy on uh, the Tom Hanks movie. There, I'm the president now. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, look, look at me. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll give him one of mine. Uh, and this is funny, but it's also like, uh, it's just kind of crazy too. It's like true to life as well. So Southwest introduces new boarding procedure where everyone is given a melee weapon and you just sort it out amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever been on a Southwest flight, you know what's up. Like, you, you know what's up. Well, it's like, what has happened, man? Because it's like every other day you hear about some fight, some crazy <laughs> incident on a plane. Is it just like the people are so fed up with masks? Or <laughs> it's in Florida normally for some reason. It, it's they're crazy. Like, they're mad because they got to go home. Here's a reason. They got to go to a blue state. <laughs> there you go. I got to go back to New York. Dang it. No. Um, here's a recent one. Ghislaine Maxwell sentenced to 10 unsupervised minutes with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> You mean ding 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 Hillary Clintavo or whatever yeah. they call her or whatever in one of their articles. My my other one was uh, unvaccinated man feeling left out as all his vaccinated friends have COVID. You know what's crazy is that's probably going to be a real headline like on MSNBC yeah. like six months from now before their time. All right, this is a blast from the past too because this brings us back to the summer of uh, 2020. 2020. 2020. This was in 2021 actually. <laughs> New Oregon Trail Game. So this goes back to our <laughs> I childhood. Love I love it. Yes. Love it. New Oregon Trail Game has you try to survive a trip through Portland, Oregon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And it's man. funny. It's got you died this, of a bullet wound. <laughs> you'll no. see it, but it's got a green little pixelated uh, guy throwing a mazel mazel tov cocktail. You suicided yourself. In- so. The Virginia uh, gubernatorial election that happened recently, Terry McAuliffe baffled that telling parents the state owns their children wasn't a winning strategy, <laughs> which, <laughs> yeah. which the big drama there was like the education thing. Yeah. yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh, and we know what's County. best for your kids. <laughs> yeah. What's crazy there is that's another true to life one as well. It's like, what? Why did Terry McAuliffe actually think that this was a good idea? But nonetheless, they hopefully they learned their there, lesson. There was another one where it was like McAuliffe shaves his head and tattoos a swastika to his face to, to warn his uh, uh, to warn Virginia about his opponent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how about this one? With that being said, Hitler proclaims anyone who attacks him is attacking science. No. <laughs> Trust the science immediately. <laughs> well, Get in the shower. It's comfortable. <laughs> it's, it's sad. It, that one hurts because it's, it's like, true. That's literally what's happening. You need to trust the science, eugenics. It is absolutely, completely true. Yeah, give us your children. You're inferior. Uh, okay. Well, what about you, Spencer? Um, the other one that I got a crude crack up about was uh, confirmed faith without works, incredibly relaxing. That's <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> Oh, there was conviction deep within that one. Like, yeah. you're like, you're like oh, he's talking to me. This is not one I want to bring up, but uh, <laughs> I did see, like, they make ridiculous articles that only Christians would laugh at. Like, it said, Pastor loses himself in uh, a vast forest of poinsettias um, on Christmas <laughs> Christmas Eve service. Um, but on that note, let's end on... A, just see it. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it has a pastor with his hand sticking up out of a bunch of poinsettias <laughs> <That's good. laughs> around the pulpit. Anyway, all right, so let's end on a Christian note. So uh, so this last one just uh, recently happened. It's Demo Day, shouts Joel Osteen, taking a sledgehammer to his church walls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was another one. It was like, oh, to be a plumber. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's like, pl- did you see the meme of like the guy's like, uh, dressed up like they're like going to like they're in a crime heist movie and it's like us being plumbers at George. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. So that was a uh, if you're talking about the same thing, they had a meme and they had uh, Jim Krasinski, Michael, uh, all the guys from Jim, Michael, and uh, Dwight from the Office. Yes. Remember okay. when they did the thing where they're trying to steal the copy machine from the other <laughs> branch and they're all dressed up and they've got like fake mustaches on and stuff like that. And the meme was something like pl- <laughs> me dressed up as a plumber to go yeah. to Joel Osteen's yeah. church. It's crazy. The, the um. Um, it's the J.G. Wentworth commercial. It's uh, my money, and I want it now. That's totally Joel Osteen as soon as he found out. <laughs> like, oh, that's the money that was stolen from me in my wall. You can catch brand new episodes of Indie Thinker with Reed Huberman every Monday and weekly bonus episodes to keep you thinking throughout the week. But you have to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when new episodes drop. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like this video and share it with friends. 